I want to introduce another software platform to you all, one that's free and it's fairly easy to use, but it's a pretty powerful prototyping tool. And if you have access to a laser cutter or a vinyl cutter, it makes prototyping complex geometry, double curve geometry, very easy. I'm going to save this file as modern wing section. And I'm going to start a new model. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a piece of geometry that's similar to our roof section. Actually, we're going to take a piece of geometry that's a little more articulated than our roof, and we're going to make polysurface out of it. So I'm just going to draw this manually. I'm going to start with a box, corner to corner. I'm going to start at 0, 0. Make this about that big extrude it like this and I'm going to subtract a cylinder out of the center of this thing. So I'm use object snap tracking to get to the center point here and I'm gonna move this down. So let's move this to the center of our cube here. Okay so now I'm gonna subtract this cylinder from a second going to top view here. There we go. This is what I want. So I want to subtract this cylinder from the cube. So I'm going to use my Boolean subtraction. I'm going to solid tools. Okay. I'm going to change my view port style to shaded. So now you can see I'm dealing with this kind of twisted curving cube. Sorry, it's not yet twisting. So now I'm dealing with this cube that has a kind of hollow core. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to twist this thing now. Because why not? So let's draw a centerpiece here. I'm going to hold control and click that center point again to draw a vertical axis. And then I'm going to twist this 180 degrees. So now I have this kind of twisting geometry with a interior core. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this up just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to use a cage edit to kind of sculpt this thing a little further. So I'm going to use a bounding box, the world coordinate system. I'm going to make it 5, 5, and 5 for my point count. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top section and pull it up. And I'm also going to scale this down. So we're going to be kind of working with this undulating tapering cube. Let's make this section here bulge out just a little bit. Actually make our base come down a little bit further. And we're going to kind of flare that out at the bottom. Actually, we'll leave this. This is a little more elegant. So we'll leave our little imaginary tower like this for now. So now that we have this geometry, we can do things like a couple more things. I'm gonna, just because I wanna maintain the relationship between the cage and the child intact, I'm gonna copy this over to the side and I can do things like fill it the edge so I'm going to do this. I'm going to add another rate so we can do something like this. Fillet edge. Oops. Uh, variable. So we're going to fillet the edge here. And what we're going to do is we're going to adjust X radius. So we're just going to fillet that a little bit. We're going to add a handle in here. So then what I can do is I can make this kind of flare out in the middle. We're just going to play around with kind of sculpting this geometry. So then this kind of has this, it starts off as like a minimal rounded corner. It flares out and then it kind of tapers back down to the smaller corner up top. So I'm going to add another handle here, 
let's add a few. Okay, I'm gonna make that something like that. I'm gonna make it really big in the middle here. And then we'll go back down to a smaller edge there. Let's see if this works, this might be. Okay, so that worked. So we have these kind of strange kind of rounded corners with the exception of one edge. And let's see what this looks like kind of smoothed out. So this has one hard edge and then some softer edges. 